Steve Love here with Prosperity Through Real Estate in Las Vegas, Ria again. And today we're going to do our second interview with my friend of many, many years, uh, over 30 years now, Ted Thomas. Um, Ted, can you review for anyone that maybe didn't hear you before um, what exactly a tax lien certificate is? Sure, sure. Okay. Now, most of the people are watching are probably in California or maybe you're in Nevada. And so in your state, they sell tax deeds. So I'm going to do both. There's two ways the government uses to collect money. Uh, every property in the United States, and there's 100 million of them, by the way, every property has a tax that's due. Now, the tax that's due is called a property tax. It's usually 1% to 2% of the value. It's not a big tax unless it's a big amount. Now, $400,000 house, it's going to be at least $4,000 a year. So you're getting the idea. It's about 1%. So now, uh, if a, you're in a tax lien certificate state, that's Arizona right next door. Arizona, if you didn't pay your tax on time, the local government will send you a notice of default and say, look, you have to pay your tax. If it's not paid by such and such a date. We're going to issue a tax lien certificate. Now, that certificate is issued. It's just a piece of paper. Anybody can buy it. So anybody can pay your tax if you didn't pay. All right, now. States that sell tax lien certificates are very benevolent. Why are they benevolent? Here's why. They don't throw the people out of the property. Those people stay on the property. However, they have this lien, but it's the first lien on the property. So they have a lien against them. All right, now let's say I bought the certificate on Steve's house. All right, so now I've just got a lien, but he's got a couple of years to pay me. So anytime that he wants to come in and pay, he can pay and I get all my money back. If I don't get paid by Steve, well, then I can foreclose and take the property. So it's an, almost an automatic foreclosure. I get the property. Now, if he didn't pay me, I get the property for whatever I paid, and there's no mortgage. The mortgage is wiped out. The county treasurer pushes the mortgage off the, off the property title, so there's no liens on the property when you get it. So if you buy a tax lien, you're either going to get paid or you're going to get the property. Let me say it again, because I know it's a new concept. You either get paid or you get the property. So that's a great deal. Now, 95 or 97% of these uh, people that have tax lien, they're going to pay them. Let me tell you, I live in the state of Florida now. I'm, I'm formerly from California. I live in Florida. And I'm going to tell you right now, they have a million certificates available in this state every year. I think you're going to like what, what you learn in this session with Steve and I. You're going to really like this because California has some really good deals on property. They've changed all the tax rules in the past year. I have people, I know you won't believe this, and we'll get into it. I have people buying property in California for a $100 starting bid. Starting bid, $100 with no mortgage. So stay tuned. <laughs> all right. So I think I understand tax lien certificates now, uh, even though most of our members may never have heard of these. Are they available in every state? No, no. Only about half, a little less than half of the states have tax liens. More states have tax deeds than anything else. The tax lien states are very benevolent. The, the, the other states confiscate the property. And here in California and Nevada? They confiscate the property. Got it. But okay. California waits five years before they confiscate the property. So you can be in default one year, two years, three years, four years, five years before they come. So those people have had notices every year. You haven't paid your tax. You haven't paid your tax. Those, these are registered letters. It's not like, you know, they're just sending out some little note. It's a big time notice. Some people even get a, the notice that the sheriff got catching there. But in, but in California, I'm telling you, there's some deals on properties. <laughs> people don't believe it because they don't know what we're talking about. I bought tax certificates, people that did not pay their taxes. I paid their taxes. I paid around $6,900, just shy of $7,000. I got 18% of my money. I just got redeemed in December, and I got $1,890 back, which is 18% on your money. Where in the economy of today with the banks and the mutual fund, are you going to get 18% of your money? It's not going to happen. When I took your first class, you know, over 30 years ago, it was mainly on foreclosures and houses. I maybe, I, maybe I wish it would have been on tax lien 
on yeah. text feeds. Anyway, yeah. Ted, why why haven't you know more folks heard about this? Why hasn't you know our broker or someone told us about these kind of things? Okay, well, uh, first of all, um, uh, there's a lot of brokers that do know about it. Uh, there's financial planners that know about it. There's attorneys that know about it. So there's two big reasons they haven't heard it. Uh, most of those professional groups are not going to talk about it because they can't make any money on it. For example, a real estate broker, this is no negative on them now, a real estate broker gets a commission. So they're going to tell you they want you to buy another property. Or if they're doing a foreclosure, they're going to get a commission. So the real estate broker, the attorney's not going to do anything unless, they, unless you pay them to do it. But there's another big reason. And the big reason is, the biggest reason is these are not publicized properly. For example, uh, uh, I can take a place like Houston, Texas. Houston, Texas has an auction every month. I said every month. I've never seen less than 200 properties at that auction. Never seen less than that. Yet people outside of Houston don't even know there's an auction. Or let's take California. Okay, now you're looking at a, an auction list for Jacksonville, Florida. I can show you a lot of other ones. I will in the other videos. And you can see when it was, the newspaper was dated. All right, this, this one list of tax liens, just liens, this one list has 30,000 liens in it. As I flip the pages, you can look. Each one of those is a listing. Each one is a listing. All right, 30,000 liens. Now, let me, I'm not going to go off camera. I'm going to stay right on that camera. I'm going to bring California in. All right, nobody, uh, I will bet they haven't, uh, there's no other person in the state of California even has that list because the county only lets people in that county know about it. So if you happen to be in San Francisco, you would not know that this big list of properties is for sale in Los Angeles. You would not even know it because Los Angeles only tells people in Los Angeles about it. So what we do is we, we, have, we have computer systems that check into every property in every county in the United States. We have a database with 100 million properties. Wow. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. So that's well, why people don't know about it. Got it. Thank you. Yeah. Um, you know, most of our members obviously are here in California or Nevada, but certainly in the United States. Um, yeah. Although in this, in these days of Zoom, we've actually had uh, some folks uh, watch from or listen from, you know, various other countries. Can people right. outside of the U.S. buy these things? Oh, sure. I'll actually show you videos before I finish this session with you today of people in Vancouver, Canada, buying not just in Washington, but buying in Los Angeles, California. Wow. I'll show you people from British Columbia doing that. I'll show you people from Ontario doing it, people from Mexico City. Uh, we um, actually teach classes on this in, in, uh, in, 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 in Australia and in Bangkok and in Singapore in the Pacific. So it doesn't matter where you are in the world because we can do all of this. Everything we're doing, we can do online. So right now, you're looking at a computer. We can teach you the whole course online and then you can buy online. You can actually go with us to auctions online. Wow, cool. So, yeah. so Ted, what do yeah. I buy? Should I buy tax in certificates or, or tax? Or tax defaulted properties. I'm going to think that most of your clients are going to be very entrepreneurial. So they're probably going to want to buy, to try to buy real estate property at the lowest price possible. Now, if they're going to sell a property in California, the starting bid, the starting bid at a tax auction in California is the back taxes and the penalties. All right. So that could mean a $2 million property could be starting at $50,000. A hundred thousand dollar property could be starting at five thousand five thousand dollars. Okay, so we teach our people to buy residential buildable lots in Los Angeles, and they're in Canada. You say, wait a minute, Canadians are buying in Los. Yes, they buy. We tell them to buy residential lots. Why? Because nobody can burn it down. No drug dealers can get into it. There's no. There's not going to be any squatters. And there's nothing can happen. They could burn the grass. That's all they could do. They can't hurt the property. So we teach our, our people to buy those. Now, after they've done a few deals, do they hang around and do that? I will show you people buying within 
60 miles of where you're sitting, within 60 miles of where you're sitting right now, buying mansions wow. for pennies on the dollar. Wow. Yeah. I want to see that. So should you I will. buy should I buy big ones or small ones or what? You can buy you can buy any size you want. When you go to the auction, for example, I don't have time to do it now. Let's go back to camera number two. On and you'll see on this list, there's properties that are priced at that, that are valued at two million dollars, not by me, by the tax assessor. I don't know the values. I can you can check it out on Zillow. This probably you can find it every conceivable value. And this is Los Angeles. Okay, well, you don't have to buy in Los Angeles. You can buy up in San Bernardino County. I'll show you people buying. I know you won't believe this, but I'll show you either on this video or the one after. I will show you people buying for six cents on the dollar with no mortgage. I said six cents on the dollar with no mortgage. And you're within 100 miles of where they're doing it. Wow. Amazing. Yes. So, Ted, I know we discussed it earlier and you said people buy online. That's fine. But what if I want to go to an auction? Are there big auctions? Um, you know, like with I, I remember going to a HUD auction once and there was a couple thousand people there. But are they big like that? Or maybe they're just little with 20 people there? How many show up at these auctions? OK, well, um, in California, everybody's crazy about real estate. Everybody. OK. So you're going to have a big attendance. So what Los Angeles County does is they say, look, we don't want any looky lose. So actually, Los Angeles County will say to you, Steve, we'd love to have you come, but you have to make a $5,000 deposit before we'll allow you to register. That way it eliminates looky lose. There'll still be 1,000 people in the room. They will not even hold the auction in a big building. What they'll do, put the camera back on, if you will, Lance, and you'll see that right on the front page of that, the Los Angeles County Fairgrounds, that's clear out in Pomona. You have to go out to Pomona in one of those big pavilions where they, where they have the 4-H things and all that. You'll have to go out there where they have the county fair because the auction is so popular. Now, are they going to have an auction like that in Stanislaus County? Stanislaus, for the people that don't know, that happens to be Modesto or Tulare. Those auctions are going to have 50 or 75 properties. So that's perfect for the little guy to get started. I'll actually show people that I'll show you people that are buying at those auctions and uh, and they're they're making decent deals. Now we are not. I want to stress this: we are not stealing property. You're not going to steal a property in the state of California unless you would agree with me. And I say this is a steal: a two hundred thousand dollar property, get it for fifty grand, my kind of deal. I came across Ted Thomas material sometime in July of last year, and it was just really good timing because we were just about a time looking for something with greater returns, uh, something that will give us more time to spend uh, with family and enjoy our family more while uh, you know being able to live the life we've always dreamed of. Because I attended Ted's three-day workshop, I knew that LA has a two-day auction. What happens is whatever they don't sell on the first day, they sell half price on the second day and that is how we ended up with our lot. Uh, we paid $14,000 uh, for a lot that was assessed I believe 210000 You more than doubled our money. You will find those kind of properties at the auction. Are you going to get one for 2000 bucks? No. If you're just getting started and you don't have a lot of money, you need to be buying tax lien certificates. Or better than that, we teach you to go out and get some money together, buy something really solid that's good. Don't buy a junker. Buy a nice property that's good because you're going to get, you've got so much margin. So if you can buy a $200,000 property for 20 or 30 cents on the dollar, you've got a lot of margin to work with. A lot. Cool. Yeah. I'll cool. show you that, some of that on video. Okay, good. Yeah. So, Ted, which is better, to go to a big city like Los Angeles or maybe Miami from your state uh, and a county like that, or maybe a small town like you mentioned Tulare or maybe a small county in Arizona or something? I would suggest that people uh, register and go to Los Angeles. Do not bid. Watch what's going on. You'll see it's pretty chaotic because you get so many people in the room. But 
uh, some other small sales. Now, you know, every county isn't big in Los Angeles. So you go to Santa Barbara, you're only going to find a half a dozen properties. There's not going to be very many, if any at all. Okay. Okay. Now I can't remember the next county. What's the next county up from Los Angeles? It's not not uh, not 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 San Bernardino. Ventura. That's it, Ventura. All right. So I have people going to Ventura auction. I'm sorry, I couldn't think of it. So they just go up the 101 freeway, and the next thing you know, they're in Ventura. That auction will have anywhere from from 35 to 110 properties that they'll have for auction. So that's a nice, easy one to go to. They'll sell all those properties in hours. But what we're going to what we're going to do for these people is we're going to give them the ability to sit at a computer just like you are now and pick every auction and know exactly how many properties are at every auction because they're all not big like Los Angeles. They're definitely not. Like you'll never find one in San Francisco. I, I invented this business while I lived just outside of San Francisco. I've never seen a property come up in San Francisco and San Mateo same way because the prices are so high, the brokers have figured out they buy the property before it ever gets to auction, you know, because okay. the prices are crazy. San Francisco's million and a half purchase price now. It's crazy. Okay. Yeah. So if, you know, we're starting small, we're starting with uh, tax lien certificates, like I'm sure one of our, some of our people will, uh, how right. many of those tax lien certificates are available out there? Well, I can give you different numbers. I'm going to reach over here and grab a couple of newspapers to kind of show you. I'm going to, sh I'll have to tell you about, I, I don't keep all the newspapers for every state, but I'm going to show you some different ones here. Okay, can you back go back to camera two, Lance? All right. So this is tax lien certificates for Jacksonville. This one here, I believe, is for uh, which county is this? Uh, okay, this is like a, a Miami list, okay, or a Fort Lauderdale list. Same kind of thing. All right. Now there's going to be in the in in this list. There's going to be a low of thirty thousand in this county and a high of 60,000. So in Florida, you could find 100,000 certificates. In Arizona, they have about 14, 14 different counties there. A uh, place like Phoenix, which would be Maricopa County, they'll have anywhere from 20 to 30,000 certificates. Then some of the small, you know, Havasu and places like that, you go up to the Grand Canyon, they're, they're going to have, they're still going to have hundreds, but they're not going to have thousands. So if you have a county with a large population there'll be a lot of tax certificates. if it's a small population there'll be hundreds but there's always enough they never can sell all they this is a business of abundance there's always left over there's always too many properties there's always too many at least in the 30 years i've been doing it got it thank you yeah. now i heard you say you were talking about these and some of the interest rates out there i think i heard you say that in georgia the minimum was like 20 percent is is that true did i get that right yeah you did um okay so there's three things that we're learning here we're learning about tax lien certificates we learned about tax deeds just because that's what california does then there's what they call uh this called a redeemable tax deed all right now this is the same thing as a regular auction so in georgia georgia has 169 counties every county has an auction every month Every county has an auction every month. So there's plenty for you to go to. And what they do is uh, they auction off the house. They say, what do you want to pay for it? And whatever the people want to do, they want to pay for the tax on that house. So they auction it off. Highest bidder gets it. So if you get the, if you win, you get the deed to the property. You get a deed right there, deed. That means you get to transfer it, okay? So you have the deed. But the county says, but it's redeemable. So the homeowner can come back and say, no, I, I don't want to lose my property. So you can come back in and redeem the deed. So if they come back day one, you get all your money back plus 20%. You get 20% for every day from day one to day 365. On day 365, you can foreclose. If you don't want to foreclose, let it go to the next year and you make 30% for the rest of that year. The year after that, you make 40%. The year after that, you make 50%. Wow. It's unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Yeah. Well, listen, let me ask you just one more question because I know it's going to come up. Um, even though I, you, you kind of just answered it, but why would anyone buy tax lien certificates when here in California they could buy tax deeds? Well, some people uh, are not going to be want to take the risk of buying a property. So believe it or not, um, 
you know, all those people that buy stocks, they don't, they don't like real estate. They don't want to, they don't want to do fixer uppers. They don't want any toilets, tenants, trash, termites. They don't want any of that stuff. All right. So those people, they want to buy solid investments. So tax lien certificates is the safest, absolutely the safest investment in America today. Why? Because you can't invest with me or a broker. You have to invest directly with the government. All right. So your money goes to the government, but it's secured by the property. So if the people on the property don't pay you, you get the property. Well, I'll pay anybody's taxes all day long. And if they don't pay me at the end of the two years, I get the property. Except it's not always two years. In Texas, you can raise your hand like I'm doing now. You can buy the deed to the property. That taxpayer has 180 days. Now, remember I told you California has five years? In Texas, they get 180 days. If they don't pay in 180 days, I get the property. Wow. They get 180. So some people say, I don't want property. I just want the return. So that's why tax certificates are so popular. Because they do, a lot of people don't want real estate. They just want the cash. Got it. Okay. Yeah, pretty good. Well, um, I think I'm going to let you go for today. And mm -hmm. I am so excited about this. I, I'm not going to miss it. And when I say all day, it's going to be all day. I mean, it's going to be all day. Absolutely. Start at nine and it's going to go the rest of the day. We've been doing exactly. a lot of half day things, but this is not. This is all day. And you're going to come away from that. Uh, if I if I know Ted, you're going to come away with your head spinning. So you're going to want to take lots of notes, and yeah. so uh, set that aside. Okay, okay. So, we'll be right back with a couple of more videos. So don't forget us. Watch your email. We'll send you another video. Okay. Thank you, Ted.